What would happen if all humans disappear? We all hear a lot of noise. Sometimes we wish to be in a quieter place. We may even wish for other humans to disappear at times. But what would happen if all humans disappeared? Have you thought about that? Are you intrigued to know what the world would look like if that happened? Welcome back to Explained Earth. If you want to know more about our Earth and its surroundings, please subscribe, like and click the bell icon. Before starting, let's see what will happen if humans disappear for just one day. What do you think will happen? Will there be minor or major changes? Some animals in captivity get to survive another day and even explore cities with plenty of people believing that they would be safe since there are no humans around. The environment remains identical. Storms would damage or completely destroy the homes and businesses in the affected areas, and because no planes would be releasing gases into the atmosphere, the sky might be clearer if the planet experienced storms during this 24-hour period. There will be no human-operated equipment, no major industrial facilities will emit gas, and cities such as Beijing, China, will be free of pollution. There are no conflicts, no wars, no regions harmed by human-made weaponry. Some locations require ongoing 24-hour maintenance and may have slight modifications the following day when people return. Wild animals will roam around our homes and hotels. Now, do you want to know what will happen if humans disappear for a whole week? In a future without humans, it's easy to picture a barren, lifeless Earth with crumbling cities covered in plants and vines. To achieve that serene harmony, though, would take a lot of time. According to ASAP Science, there would be complete anarchy during the first few weeks without humans. Power plants would first stop producing electricity, approximately 1 billion pigs, 1.5 billion cows, and 20 billion chickens would then escape their pens in search of food if there were no longer any electric fences to contain them. Since these domestic animals are dependent on people, many are probably going to die of starvation. Some might suffer a more grotesque end by becoming prey for wild animals and dogs. And now let's see what will happen if humans don't appear ever again. Many of our prize-winning breeds from dog and cat competitions are not fit for the wild. Stronger mixed breeds, wolves and wild cats would obliterate them. The number of rats and cockroaches would drastically decline if humans stopped producing waste. The scourge of head lice would vanish entirely. Many buildings would burn to the ground first before plants ever had the chance to take over the streets and cities. Without firemen, a single lightning strike that strikes a wooden roof and ignites a fire might completely demolish a city's worth of structures. Most timber buildings would be gone after a hundred years. The cities that survived the fires would soon be invaded by bigger plants and trees before being overwhelmed by weeds and vines. Roads would become rivers and floods would fill the underground subway systems. Most animals that people have suppressed would resume their pre-human population levels if humans were to disappear. The invasive species that people have brought into the world and exported would keep thriving there. According to ASAP Science, it's even conceivable that escaped zoo animals might flourish in their new environments. Humans will still leave some irreversible traces behind even if we disappear overnight. Our radios and phones' electromagnetic radiation will keep whizzing around space. We would also leave behind mountains of garbage. Plastic and several types of rubber contain compounds that cannot be broken down by bacteria or through natural processes. Eventually, the plastic and rubber would be transported into the oceans, where they would settle in the sediment layers. They would become incorporated into rock layers and recorded in the geological record after hundreds of millions of years. After a few thousand years, the atmospheric carbon cycle would bring the levels of carbon dioxide back to normal but radioactive materials from places like power plants would last much longer. Any aliens who come across our world would find these lingering human remnants perplexing. But the largest puzzle would be how we so abruptly vanished off the face of the globe. Psst, hey, if you want someone to disappear, we know a trick. We will share it with you, but only if you subscribe and like this video. <laughs> Just kidding. Oil refineries break down, causing month-long fires at facilities like those in Western India, the southern United States, and South Korea hours after they break down. Hundreds of drainage pumps and subterranean rail networks in cities like London, Moscow, and New York are abandoned, filling the tunnels in just three days. Most emergency generators will have been shut down by the end of the first week, and the world will experience its first centuries-long blackout once the fires have died out. Once the first disastrous month is through, things start to alter more gradually. 
The roots of trees and weeds have destroyed sidewalks in less than 20 years. And around this time, streets above the flooded tunnels turn into urban rivers. In temperate climates, the seasonal cycle freezes and thaws these waterways, causing concrete foundations and pavements to break down. In concrete structures, leaking pipes have the same effect. And within 200 winters, the majority of skyscrapers will collapse. These structures eventually totally wash away in towns situated in river deltas, like Houston, flooding neighboring streams with smashed concrete. Rural and suburban regions deteriorate much slower, but in ways that are generally expected. All of the typical adversaries of the homeowner – leaks, mold, bugs and rodent infestations – now go unchallenged. The supporting beams of most houses have deteriorated and sagged within 75 years, and the fallen heap that results is now a haven for local rodents and reptiles. But local now has a new significance in this post-human world. Imported plants have taken over our cities and are now wreaking havoc on their new surroundings. Shanghai's rivers will be covered in a lush green carpet of water hyacinth. The banks of River Thames in London are overrun by huge poisonous hogweeds. Streets in New York City are overrun with Chinese alianthus trees. Additionally, as crumbling concrete from submerged skyscrapers is added to the newly formed forest floor, the acidity of the soil decreases, perhaps fostering the growth of new plant life. The animal kingdom is included in this post-human biodiversity. Animals explore new habitats with the aid of our abandoned bridges, following the unrestricted spread of native and non-native plants. In general, some creatures are saved by our infrastructure, while others are doomed. In the native tropical settings, cockroaches continue to thrive, but without our heating systems, their urban relatives would probably freeze and go extinct in just two winters. Only a small number of resourceful pigs, dogs and feral house cats will be able to survive without us among the majority of domesticated animals. There wouldn't be many signs of humans or human activity left behind after 15 to 20,000 years. However, no matter how much time has elapsed since we vanished, scientists in the future will undoubtedly be able to spot evidence of our presence. The ceramic, brass and plastic components will all last longer. The carvings of George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt and Abraham Lincoln on Mount Rushmore will last for at least 7 million years. For instance, Pripyat, a heavily populated flourishing town in Ukraine, was close to Chernobyl. But after the nuclear accident 30 years ago, this location was abandoned and is still deserted. Pripyat appears to be a sturdy city from a distance, but the structures are slowly deteriorating. Carbon dioxide does not always float around in the atmosphere. Huge volumes of carbon dioxide from the air are absorbed by our oceans, which is a crucial function. However, there are still limits to how much of it the oceans can absorb without causing its own waters to become unhealthily acidic which might be harmful to thousands of marine species. The amount of carbon dioxide that the sea can physically absorb is likewise limited, so it's not the bottomless carbon sink that is frequently assumed. Finally, nothing will be spared because nature always takes what is rightfully hers in the end. So, what do you think about this? Do you think something else will happen? Let us know in the comments below. If you want to know more about our Earth and the universe surrounding it, subscribe to Explained Earth and we will tell you all about it. Tune in next week to learn all about it. More interesting content can be found in the other videos.